Welcome to our series of Irish native trees. In this episode, we're talking about the amazing and the very beautiful Scots pine. Scots pine is an Irish native tree that was at one stage quite dominant over the tops of the mountains and in the rougher parts of the west and the north of Ireland. They can grow on reasonably poor soil as long as there's good drainage. And if you dig away into the bogs, the blanket bogs, all along the west coast of Ireland, quite often what you will find preserved in those bogs is root systems of sometimes enormous Scots pine trees. Up until about 5,000 years ago, the mountains around here would have had Scots pine in amongst them. The climate changed at that stage five to 4,000 years ago, started to get wetter, got too wet for a lot of the Scots pine. And also at that stage, the first settlers that were clearing the land started to come in. And our first manipulation on a grand scale of the vegetation of Ireland started to happen. And Scots pine got all but wiped out. And it was believed up until very recently that the last Irish native Scots pine were wiped out about one and a half thousand years ago. But some clever scientists from Trinity College, they discovered a stand of Scots pine in the Burren, County Clare, that is native to Ireland. And they have been there continuously all along. They've been able to look at the pollen records by taking pollen core samples from the ground around those trees and compare them genetically to trees that were dug out of the bog from thousands of years ago. And they found that the exact same. So currently in Glenvay National Park, where I'm standing right now, there is a programme, an area has been designated for Scots pine and they are currently growing saplings from those seed trees from the burn, those Irish native Scots pines. And in time to come, they will plant those out in a specified area in Glenvay and they in turn will turn into more seed trees and we will be able to spread our native Scots pine throughout Ireland again. This stand of Scots pine on the Derry Lahan Nature Trail in Glenvay was planted in the 1860s. So these are very mature trees. Scots pine can live for up to 300 years, but typically 150 or so is what they survive for. And Scots pine are very distinctive. As you can see by this wonderful specimen here, they shed their branches as they get tall enough. These trees have figured out that they don't need their lower down branches, which wouldn't be able to get much light. There wouldn't be much light available because of the branches high up in the canopy. So they shed those branches, which of course saves them energy. And also it saves them during the winter storms because their shallow root systems would otherwise get overturned and get pulled out if they had a big heavy weight of branches. So Scots pine, when they're mature, are very distinctive. You can tell Scots pine by the fact that there's no branches going all of the way up, but also you can tell by the beautiful orangey golden color that you get on the higher limbs of the Scots pine, especially when the sun shines on them. The orange limbs and the steel blue color of the pine needles, its little leaves itself, are what help to make Scots pine jump out from all of the other different conifer trees that we have growing in Ireland. Scots pine are one of the conifer species that we have. We have three native conifer species in Ireland, juniper, yew trees, and Scots pine trees. Now there are over 600 different types of conifer in the world, and conifer is just a cone bearing tree, a tree that has its seeds in cones. And over half of those 600 species are pine trees. There's also groups like fir, like spruce, like larch, but Scots pine is our only native pine tree. And to identify Scots pine trees, like all trees, you need to look at the leaves, you need to look at the fruit or seeds, and you need to look at the bark. And leaves on pine trees tend to be long, thin, and quite sharp. In fact, we usually call them needles. And on Scots pine, they come in little pairs. These little pairs, not quite as long as my finger, and quite sharp. And that really, really thin nature helps to stop them dry out, keeps them very, very tough. Scots pine trees are evergreen. Now that doesn't mean they hold on to all of their leaves forever. About one third of their leaves drop every year, but they're always producing a bit more than one third each year. 
so in that way they grow. But they always have green leaves ready when there's a little bit of sun available so they can start photosynthesizing straight away, start capturing that carbon out of the sky for us straight away. The bark of Scots pine trees has a beautiful orangey color the higher up the tree you go. And it flakes off, it tends to break off like little jigsaw pieces. So it's quite easy to identify that way. And then the cones of the Scots pine tree, like all pine cones, are hard, hard and woody. And inside are the little seeds and they're a lovely light yellowy color. Scots pine, like all of our native trees, support a lot of biological diversity or different living things. Inside the little cones are lots of seeds and those seeds are very important food for the red squirrel. They're also very important food for some specialized birds, birds like siskins, like red poles and like crossbills. They're all different types of finches, finches that not everybody will have heard of or have seen all the time, but you'll find them here in the likes of this amazing Scots Pine Woods in Glenvey National Park. The crossbills are so specialized that their little beaks cross over, which enables them to get inside the cone, snap it open and pluck out the seed. In all of the cracks and all of the little holes in the bark, there are lots of different insects. Some feeding on the bark itself, some feeding on other insects. And of course, then there are spiders feeding on them and birds in turn feeding on them. And underneath Scots pine trees, nearly 15% of Ireland's plant life is supported. So Scots pine forests, their very nature has them quite open so there's a lot of light available and you will often have associated acidic loving species, bog species or heath species like the heathers that we see here in front of us. So Scots pine as a native tree support a lot of biodiversity. And like all trees, Scots pine provides a lot of ecosystem services. In other words, services that nature does for us for free. One Scots pine tree itself will absorb 10 kilos of carbon from thin air, from the sky. That's 10 kilos of carbon that it's separated from the oxygen, carbon dioxide in the air around us. And these trees have the ability to separate it, keep the carbon, lock it in. The dried weight of a Scots pine tree will be virtually 40% carbon, all of which is plucked from the sky around us. And of course, the oxygen is there for us to be able to breed and for all the other animals. As well as that, Scots pine trees will drink a lot of water and their root systems will hold together the soils and help prevent landslides, help slow down water and help prevent flooding further down the valleys and further downstream. And then of course, Scots pine are very beautiful and provide this amazing canopy and these amazing walkways in the mature pine forest that we have. The Scots pines themselves were a very valuable wood in years gone by. As it is so full of resin, it burns very well. Small little pieces of pine wood were often used for lights in homes in ancient times. And also the wood, because it's so full of that resin, it is very tough, so it is very useful for having outside. And it's still used today, sold as red deal. Scots pine gives us so much.